box, we are going to be going over the intermediate fly for November's tying box, and that is our duck butt. And this is just one I've tied here, and that's what we're going to be tying. So nice little CDC Euro pattern. Um, moves really well in the water with those CDC feathers. So we'll just start my thread here behind the bead and just lay down a layer of thread along the hook shank all the way back to just before that bend. Trim out my tag. And then we're gonna take our CDC feather here. So you got a little bag of CDC feathers. Now with these, there's some feathers that you can do this with. Others might be a little shorter, but on some of these longer feathers here, you can use the tips of this as the tail and then we'll use the rest of the feather up at the collar so i'm just gonna kind of pinch that tip together bundle it all together here and we'll tie that in i like a real short tail so i'm just gonna just do a loose gathering wrap bring that down wrap around again so that's two and then i can just pull that cdc forward just to the desired length that i want just right about there so we're really just barely past the hook bend and I'll give that a few more tight turns and then I'll trim out my excess. So now at the front of the fly, I can tie in this little tip section here on that CDC feather. So you can use the same feather twice if the feather is long enough. Okay, the next we're just going to take, this is the, you got two different colors of body dubbing for the fly, a rainbow and an olive. I'm going to take this olive color here. I like that kind of more as a caddis uh, looking pattern. And we're just going to twist that onto our thread nice and tight. And I want to build a nice good taper on the fly. It just makes it look a little more buggy. Now I'll start wrapping that forward. And I just watch that just to try to build that taper. So thin to thick. So you climb up here towards the bead. Just a little bit more. And just get that right up here behind the bead, get my bead situated there. So I got a taper there. So again, I'm going from the tail thin up here towards the bead thick. I'm actually just gonna add just a little bit more to that fly. This dubbing has a really good sheen to it too. And when it's in the water, it gets wet. This has a nice good little shine to it. I really like that for kind of a caddis look. Okay, so right up there behind the bead, I have my taper. I'm gonna take that CDC feather again. So I just have that tip kind of cut out from where I tied the tail in. And I'll just take that little diamond shape top. Let me flip it around here. Tie that in with the, the top of the feather facing over top of the bead. I'll tie that in and I can fold that little tip excess back, secure that in. That's going to make that a little more durable for when we're wrapping it. Now as I wrap, I'm just going to just pull these feather fibers back. And each turn, I just want to make sure I'm just watching that and just pulling those back so that all those uh, CDC fibers are facing back towards the tail. And you'll get three maybe four wraps with that feather and then i'll bring my thread up and over the top and i bind that stem down right inside the slot of the bead that way it's not getting tied to the side that just kind of helps eliminate a little bulky build up there if you can tie that stem right inside the slot of the bead and then i'll just pull everything back with my fingers and wrap over that just kind of help get those cdc feathers locked down facing out the back and then our last step is just our peacock dub and you could change this up you could use like a bright hot spot dubbing here um, i like the bead is kind of a hot spot for me so i don't feel i need to have a hot spot dubbing but you could add any any kind of dubbing here just to add a little hot spot change the color combinations up and i like to keep this relatively thin so i'm just going to do just a turn or two there i'm going to pull out that excess Just clean that up. And 
And there you have it. We'll just go ahead and whip finish. Just kind of a nice little case caddis pattern. Um, if the fish see it as that or a little mayfly, but I just like that look of this olive here. It just kind of reminds me of a little caddis in our local streams here. Um, but we've fished this pretty extensively this fall. It's been a great little pattern. Fun to tie. And you can add a little bunch of different colors to it too to, to kind of fit your, your needs. But enjoy. Let us know how you do with it. And as always, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel um, here to so get more videos each month. And also give us a shout on uh, Instagram or Facebook. Just give us a follow at Smitty's Fly Box. Thanks, guys.